Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Civil War. This is episode 3 of our Confederate Let's Play. Using the JMP mod, we are on to the first battle of Bull Run. I do want to let you know that after some tips from Panda Kraut and Gonzo Gamer, I decided to go back and play Newport News. Figured I could do a few things different, and we had a much better result. Instead of re-recording that video and posting it as, as like a brand new video, what I did is I, I just recorded the gameplay. There's no commentary whatsoever, but I have created an unlisted video for those of you that want to watch it. Um, obviously, you don't have to. It's just replaying the Battle of Newport News. But there will be a link to that in the description below, or I might put a link in the top right-hand corner if I can figure that out. But as I said, it's just going to be an unlisted video, no commentary. I did cut out uh, some of the more boring parts of the gameplay, but um, if you want to see how I did that battle much, much better than the first time, um, go ahead and watch that. And one of the big changes I did was I went ahead and bought the Mississippi rifles and the the three-star colonel right away. I believe it is this guy, Tom Preston. Might have been uh, somebody else, but um, I, I bought those before the Battle of Newport News, and what that did was it really increased the amount of money I had going into Newport News, and subsequently the amount of money I had going into the first Battle of Bull Run. And uh, I'll, I'll preface this with usually I don't go back and replay stuff, but in this game in particular, you can screw up your whole campaign by doing something wrong early on in the campaign or midway through the campaign. So there's there's plenty of times where you you absolutely need to replay a mission or like even go back a couple missions back and redo things. Um, we talk about save scumming every once in a while. And while I, I generally don't like save scumming as much, this game you absolutely have to. You need to save scum before you start touching anything in your army camp, before a battle. You need multiple saves for your battles, especially using the GMP mod, because the GMP mod makes things a lot more difficult. And I'm only playing on MG Lite with uh, chain charging turned off, so I'm not even playing the full GMP experience, because I'm just not there yet. I, I tried playing a couple battles with the chain charging and I, I i just can't win at the moment and i think part of that is because i don't want to pause during battles mainly because i feel like it's not a good youtube video experience i could be very wrong but that's just my personal preference and if i don't enjoy it um i, I don't really want to record it so um, that, that's not to say that you you can't pause and that you shouldn't pause I think the GMP mod is definitely designed for people that play at a slower speed and pause a lot and that way you can use a lot better micro than if you're just playing on almost base game speed and no pausing. But that's my spiel. We're, we're going to try and dive right into the battle, make sure we don't go too far or make the intro too long. So basically we have four infantry brigades going into this almost everybody has pretty good weapons we have those mississippi rifles these guys have some uh springfield 1855s because we just didn't have any more rifles there but then we have our two two cavalry that we recruited recruited one's a one star with colt 9 1860 armies because uh, gonzo said these are really really good especially if you hit pause before your unit hits uh or goes into the enemy so they kind of like stop not pause, but halt. They fire off some rounds into the enemy and then charge him. And then uh, Pettit, he, I couldn't get him to one star. I just, I only had like 125 veterans and I just couldn't get everything I wanted. So Pettit has Palmetto 1842s. And then Gordon, I was able to make one star. And he has six pounder field guns. These are not very good guns, but it's what I had in my arsenal. So... We're just kind of using what we had around. Let's go on to the battle uh, battle map. Um, Panda Kraut had a good point. These do tell you kind of like what you're going to come up against. I I kind of read them, but not, not for the purposes of the video. Um, 
but he, he does have a good point like it says 1300 or 13,800 trained soldiers so uh we know there's some more trained soldiers in the enemy army than uh if we didn't see that message but my my point still stands these are almost like ai generated messages and they kind of repeat themselves over and over again so there's that going for it so the first battle of bull run we'll get 12 reputation from this not too bad uh decent chunk of money decent chunk of recruits and the enemy is at minus five army size their training is pretty low their armory is pretty low but their army itself is pretty pretty large so diving on into this you'll see that we can take eight brigades so that's just bringing in these guys here and then the enemy has 26,000 men we have 23,400 ish they have more guns than us they have i mean there's we're outnumbered badly at the beginning and uh panda kraut definitely recommended don't try and hold matthews hill and i agree with that it's not an actual objective in the battle it's one of those like fake historical objectives so the battle of bull run 21st of july 1861 several miles east the confederate army of pgt beauregard has deployed along bull run river to guard manassas railroad junction from the other side of the river brigadier general Irvin mcdowell is leading the union army and is looking for a weak point to attack the confederate army is stretched out to defend all possible river passages you're in command of the left flank, which is likely to become the main target of the Union Army. The utmost side of your defensive line ends at a stone bridge. The Federals may assault this point head-on or maneuver from a western ford. If the Union attempts to attack your position, you will receive reinforcements from Bure Beauregard and Joseph E. Johnston, Army of the Shenandoah, who are soon to arrive by train. And historically speaking, this was one of the uh, really cool features of the Civil War, is it's kind of like the first battle that you actually see mass movement of troops via railroad and th this was a very big case there um i can't remember the union general but the union thought that joseph e johnston was stuck way far away but he boarded his entire army on a train to the manassas junction and he he wasn't supposed to be at this army or at this battle that kind of caught the union off guard there that johnston made it to this battle because they thought he was way far away and out of the action so very cool little tidbit there um i just thought that's a, a cool feature of the civil war is the mass transit of troops via train on the battle map our main forces are deployed a few miles east of this location guarding the manassas railroad junction Bull Run River is the natural barrier between our lines and the Union Army on the other side. This is a pretty large map too for an early, early mission, which is cool. To protect the left flank of the army, we need to guard all the fords, which that's not going to happen. That's going to stretch our army out too much, and traditionally the enemy came via this direction here. So our forces are stretched thin along Bull Run River. We do not have sufficient regiments to guard this passage. But you need to be alert for enemy movement. McDowell may attempt to cross with a portion of his army from here. The small here near Matthew's farm is a good position to create defensive line in case the enemy threatens our left. And this was a huge point of emphasis for the battle itself. But in, in this, there's no real reason to hold this, to be honest. Further down south, Henry Hill is another strong position for artillery, and it must be secured, and I believe that is the main objective, is Henry Hill. Your, order, your orders are to defend your position and scout for enemy movements. If the Federals attack you, reinforcements will be dispatched from the southeast. General Federal forces have been spotted on the other side of the river, and will certainly try to cross it from this section, which was really just a feint by the Union. Take position on that hill to stop any attempt of the enemy to cross the stone bridge and then the enemy comes this way up all all the other directions pay attention to this ford which is also a possible passage for the union army and then i believe the main portion of their army actually comes down this way we do not have enough forces to guard the passages westwards of your current position you should still scout the area as the federals may attack from this side Matthews Hill must be defended should the Yankees attempt to breach our left flank, which that's not going to happen because it's not a real objective in the battle. 
Um, I always recommend this to people. Make sure you actually look at what the real objectives are in the battles. Delay the link. Delay the Yankees until you receive more reinforcements. Good luck, General. Always the good luck, General. So I'll position my men around and we'll come back to the battlefield then. Okay, just moving our forces out. I'm trying to protect different flanks, but Stone Bridge is the primary because most of the enemy at the early stages of the battle comes via Stone Bridge and then later on, just like a massive giant portion of the Union Army comes from Matthews Hill, so uh, Panda Crow definitely enlightened me, um, or reminded me, that taking Matthews Hill is not a priority, and that's because the only victory condition you have is to hold Henry Hill. There is no other victory condition in, in this battle, so Henry Hill is down here where the map expands to. So it's just kind of uh, holding holding on, dealing as much casualties as possible until we can actually uh, go and defend Henry Hill. So our plan is definitely see if we can pick anybody off, protect our flanks, and then probably pull back as much as we can. I would love to continue holding Stonebridge and stop the enemy from pushing across, but that's probably not going to happen. Looks like their artillery split, which is probably the worst case scenario. I don't mind their their regular guys splitting over, over here, but their artillery splitting is a big, big issue. Let's see if we can do anything to these scouts. Would love Love if Siegfried could get into position where he could also shoot the scouts. Um, not entirely sure what to do with my cab at the moment. I, I would love to go and wrestle with their their cavalry, but I'm also a little bit afraid of what might be out there. That really sucks that they have. Did all of their artillery split first U.S. Split second U.S. split man. That's a lot of that's a lot of splits. That's a feature of the JMP mod and their cab split too. Uh, and Pandacrat was explaining like what the splitting is about and how he explained it made a lot of sense. It's kind of like in, in certain battles the AI is really missing. No, dang it! Stop turning. Um. Uh, in, in a lot of battles, the AI is missing, basically, units to actually do its job properly. Oh man, I want to go hit you. You guys are in the river. Oh, that is so... Come on, come on, come on, come on. If you guys can charge, if Owen can charge, that would be huge because they are in the river. Wavering. Come on, get them, get them, get them. And melee. There we go. They are routing, and then that's probably the most that we'll be able to do. Oh man, and there's some skirmishers over there. Okay. I don't want to... I don't want to go too crazy with all of this. Um, speaking of which, though, I, I mentioned Panda Kraut. Huge shout out to Panda Kraut. He, he and Gonzo Gamer have been leaving a lot of amazing comments on my videos, and then also... No, 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 no. Okay, R is turn off skirmishing. So let's do that. Okay, they're wavering, routing, perfect. <laughs> I, I keep trying to say stuff and the AI is distracting me. So shout out to Panda Kraut and Gonzo Gamer. They have been awesome at, at leaving comments for this game. They have uh, provided... Why are we flanked? What? Guys, stop moving. Just... Okay. Now... Now hit hold. Okay. Need you guys to quit... Quit turning around. But yeah, shout out to Gonzo Gamer and Panda Kraut. They have been absolutely amazing. Let's see if we can charge these guys. No. Maybe flanked. Uh, steady, confident, wavering... And they're routing perfect. 
I doubt we could do any more to them. Okay. That's that's perfect. They're routing now, so they'll be they'll be in a rough position. But yeah, oh gosh. My original point, the, the AI keeps ruining this. Huge shout out to Gonzo Gaming and Panda Kraut who have been leaving some awesome, awesome comments on my on my videos and in the official uh, JMP Discord, they've been really awesome too. Are these, is this the same group? They're coming back for more? They are. Holy cow. Okay. Can we, can we melee you again? And I'll, I'll leave a link to the official GMP Discord in the description below because I think it's a really awesome place. There's a ton of people that know a lot more about the game than I do. Okay, if you guys are not going to actually route, I would love if they would break. Holy cow. They keep coming back. But yeah, th there'll be a link in the in the description below to the official GMP Discord because it's it's a pretty awesome place. There's a lot of people that know a lot about this game that are a lot more knowledgeable than I am. Holy cow! And how do they move so fast? This is this is crazy that they can route, regroup, route, regroup that fast. Come on, get them. Can we actually break this group? I would love to... Okay. Perfect. Good goodness. Oh, and then there's a bunch of skirmishers over here. Can we... Can we go chew on those skirmishers? But yeah, Gonzo Gamer, he has a bunch of videos using the GMP mod. He's really, really good at this game. A lot better than I am. I'm not very good at this game. I thought I was pretty decent at the this is crazy at the vanilla game uh but this mod is a whole new level and i i clearly do not know anything about this game when it comes to this mod because holy cow man that is so many skirmishers do you think we can actually take them i don't think so i think we need to get out of here Rear flank, steady. Steady's not good. That is so many skirmishers. Alright, can we do something over there? But yeah, Gonzo Gamer, he's got a bunch of videos where he's really good at showing off this game. I don't know if we'll win this. They're wavering, we're wavering. Uh, they're routing. I would love to finally destroy these scouts. Oh, okay. Um... I don't know what happened over there, but cool. They're still routing, but we're catching up to them, which is perfect. Those guys are running. No, 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 no. Nope, let's stay over here. Uh, you guys route. They must have got caught in melee. Our guys are wavering, but they're doing an okay job at the moment. Um, you guys doing your thing. All right, can you guys route off the battlefield? They're still routing over there, and then they they shattered. Perfect. Okay. Oh man, I need those guys to <laughs> rest and refit, and hopefully we can come down this way. Uh, I'm a little a little nervous over here. That's for sure. Would love to take out all of this stuff over here. I feel like I've been trying to get a point across since this battle started and the AI is just like, nah, we're going to con constantly distract you. Constantly. Okay, warmed up Eager. Eager's not great, but it's okay. Can we, can we distract you guys? That's perfect over there. Can we get... I'm worried that there's something over here. My line of sight is terrible. Moral of the story, Panda Kraut, Gonzo Gamer, awesome people, they they help you a lot. Oh my god, can't get my point across. And uh, go go join the GMP Discord if you're interested in 
in this game and, and using the GMP mod. Okay. Let's go, go munch on these guys now. If we can keep those guys distracted, that'll help a ton. This move, these skirmishers over here because they're no longer really needed. And we're wavering. They've got some cab over there. That's fine. I feel like this cab has really done a fantastic job. And for as much as I complain about uh, the enemy charging a crap ton and how that's not historically accurate, uh, doing what I just did with cab is also not historically accurate. So I recognize I recognize the hypocrisy there. Oh boy. Um, that's not... Okay. They... They panicked, which is good. If we can... That, that was really good with how much we grabbed. I would love to... To grab even more. Oh, they moved their artillery in a terrible position, so that's great. Over here... interesting we've lost a lot of our cav but i feel like they did a lot they killed the scouts they killed a lot of skirmishers there's a lot of skirmishers on this battlefield that's for sure kind of looking oh man that means burnside duplicated that is not good and then over here uh us first second first so their artillery duplicated over there also not good can we okay that artillery's routing they got too close to Preston's Brigade, which is great. Um, Siegfried is... I mean, he's tanking like a hero. Just not sure if he's going to make it all the way. Okay, we no longer need Kemper Skirmishers over there, and I feel like we could probably deal with Preston's Skirmishers out this way, and we could probably... Uh, I don't know about that. All right, what are we doing? Are we doing counter battery fire? I don't know if that's your best use. I don't know if there's a lot to be done over at the stone bridge anymore. They're continuing to shoot us. I kind of want Preston to move over here. I feel like his time over there is done. And let's have them run. Because if I can if I can really help out over here, I think that'll be good. I need to keep my cab over here because there's still Oh, that's a big brigade incoming. Um well I'm assuming it's a big brigade. And it duplicated. So that's never good. So that's that sucks. Okay. Yeah, there's it's like just artillery over there. Withdraw to Henry Hill. Ooh, that was that was a good start to the battle, I think. I hope. Uh, Panda Kraut and Gonzo Gamer will tell me if that was a good start or not. Okay, just a quick pause in the battle there as our reinforcements come on. There'll be more reinforcements that I'll have to deal with, but I think I don't need a pause for that situation. Um, I'm moving forces out over here, and then Jackson's core or group will kind of move up over here. That's going to be my plan and then these guys come on need you to position correctly moving dudes around we're just going to have two skirmishers and kemper defend over here and then you guys are good to move out over here and then more of jackson's men should be arriving so we'll we'll have them run uh actually Probably would like them on that flank now I think about it. These guns over here. Let's see, where are we going with all of these guns? Let's push them to about here. So Jackson's core needs to get up there ASAP. It's not a core, but his uh, division, brigade, whatever you want to call it. We badly need them in, and then there should be some cavalry. Perfect. That will help a bunch. And then I'm not entirely sure where they will go. Um, so there's some infant, uh, some skirmishers out over there. Would love to go pick them off, but probably not going to happen. Need this artillery to get into position ASAP. Um, sooner rather than later. 
Um, I, I would like... Let's see, if we could put Stuart Skies over there... Actually, if we could move that cab maybe over here, that might be a good idea. And then... The, maybe we can... I'm a little bit worried there. there is cab over there. Okay, we're going to counter charge over here. Hopefully nobody else is charging at the moment. And then just charge into them. And then if we can completely break them with our cav and make them surrender, that would be fantastic. They're broken now. Perfect. No, don't rear flank. Do not rear flank. Pay attention. Look this way. And then stop looking that way. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Let's have you guys move up just a tad. And then have you guys move up just a tad. And then this artillery... Move up. Oh boy. Okay, there's definitely... I mean... There's some scary stuff around. Still, did we completely shatter them? That's huge. That's absolutely massive. To be honest, can we... Can we move you down over here? That would be fantastic. Get you guys out of there. And then... Have you guys sit on this flank. That would be great. Maybe shift you up just a little. And then there we go. There's... There's our problem, children. Okay, some of our skirmishers... Are breaking already. Where are these cannons? What on earth? How did they get around over there? How many guys have we lost there? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh let's run you guys down. How did they did they run across this way? That's really bad. Okay, what else? Okay, they're routing. Let's just move you guys up. And then put you over here. Dang. Okay, hopefully that artillery can deal some damage because we badly need that artillery up over here. I feel like that's going well. Okay. Can we maybe get like a flank hit on those guys? Move you over here. Um, I'm a little bit worried about those guys. Shoot them with artillery, please. Move up. And then let's get another shot into them. I think that should be good. Uh, I mean, they're eager, we're eager. I'm a little worried about that. Just bring Stuart's cab down. I don't... do not like this, but... It's just how it's going to be. Uh, absolutely shattering those guys over there was huge. Doesn't look like they're really doing anything over there, which is good. So let's, um... Let's continue moving them up this move these supplies over a little Jackson's doing a great job it's like we've got great fields of fire over here hopefully that means there's no cavalry over there they're they're over here so if we can if we can get those guys to route and then charge them with our cav that'll be fantastic I am a little bit worried about this flank if they do some crazy shenanigans over there. How's this going? Okay, that's not skirmish. Come on. That's so obnoxious over there. They're confident. Is confident worse than eager? I'm assuming so. 
Let's just keep hitting them until they're, like, maybe wavering. You guys are going to become group one. Confident. Steady. Steady is the step above wavering. Okay, you need to go over here. We're running out of ammo. Do you have any ammo left? Fresh, eager, they're steady. Maybe like a little bit more. And then let's charge and charge. Let's just charge with everything. See if we can crush them. Okay, they surrendered. I just saw that pop up. Perfect. All right, route and then you move up over here. That could have been a disaster, so thankfully it wasn't. I think we could move that cab over there. And then you're actually going to be part of group one. It looks like not a lot is happening over here, so that's good. We have some great... Why are these guys out of range? But those guys are in range. Okay, now they're in range. It's a little bit weird to me. Um, maybe shift just ever so slightly forward. I'm a little bit worried about, like, maybe those skirmishers over there. Okay, that's going well, I think. I'd love that piece of artillery to get up there. I feel like having these two over here is good. Same with having these two over here. We can we can have them hit those skirmishers too, that would be great. Over here I feel very confident that we'll hold that. That would be a good target for all of our cav. Because that's what, four artillery. And there's not really anything important over here. Oh man, yeah, I keep moving our cab like everywhere, but I feel like them being kind of like eyes really, really helps. Um, it wasn't really a big move, but that's fine. Okay, that artillery is nearly up, which is good because it looks like there's some infantry on the move. And it looks like you guys need to be hitting that, and you guys need to be hitting that. Yeah, it looks like there's there's a charge incoming, so let's see if we can break the charge before it happens. Maybe you move up over there a little. And then you could you can hit them while they're in the in the water. Okay, they're wavering now, perfect. Good. They're still heroic, which is crazy because they're they're being hit like every direction. See if we can move this supply wagon over there. You're useless, so let's uh, bring you down to that. Just get you out the way, so I'm not not wasting any micro on you. How else do I want to do this? I feel like I feel like we need to move this artillery up a little. And move this artillery like up a oh gosh, why? Just move forward. Man, if anybody could ever fix that in the Ultimate General series, including American Revolution, that would just be so good. That it would be amazing if that could somehow get fixed. I thought I told you to move over there. Because we need ammo over here. I'm starting to think that there's nothing. Oh, there's Cav right there. Okay. Uh... That's fine. So we could move... Move you guys over here. Just keep an eye out for that Cav over there. Okay, so they're wavering. Lots of wavering units. Keep, keep pouring it on. And then we could... It's too many guys over there. I feel like I'm wasting my my cavalry, even though they've done a lot already. You guys aren't actually skirmishing, are you? Okay. 
That feels like it's going well until, you know, Hampton's officer gets hit. Okay, let's move you guys across. We could somehow break all of them. That'd be fantastic. We do have we do have ammo, which is good. They're doing well on ammo. Just have to keep keep an eye out for the units that are actually going to charge. Because man, this mod ups the difficulty by um, making the AI charge more. Okay, so there's there's some guys I'm not feeling good about. would like the artillery to target them and then this artillery is doing okay I would actually like them to target something better how are we doing over there they're wavering move those guys up over there okay confident okay so we have ammo problems over there again let's uh let's move you down the line I don't know. I would love to push up a little bit more, but it just seems seems risky. Okay, you guys, you're in the you're in the river. You are heroic right now. I'm a little bit worried about that, to be honest. Okay, steady wavering, perfect. Let's hit those guys now. They're wavering. Warmed up, eager. Still a little bit worried about that cav right there. I don't have a good answer for that cav necessarily. Okay, they're routing. Perfect. Make sure you guys are continuing to hit the correct targets. I feel like we could maybe... Maybe push up just a little. I'm just going to do that. That works. Stop. Okay, that gets them into a better firing position. I like that a lot better, actually. And then let's start moving some artillery forward. And then you guys probably need to move over here because they've shifted the weight of their troops over there a little bit more. Do you think we could get... I think we could do something really, really cheeky with our cab. I don't know if that's a smart idea. Yeah, they're definitely, they're definitely moving some troops around. I'm not feeling as good about this front over here anymore. Kind of want you guys to move across the line. Although I just shifted and they just turned. So I'm a little bit worried about that, to be honest. Let's see. Let's have you guys hit over there. I mean, like, a triple charge into there would be poetic, wouldn't it? Let's see. Stewart over here. Pettit over here. You over here. Counterattack. Sure. Love to. Would be awesome. Okay. Well, you know, give me fresh legions and well, they're not legions. <laughs> give me fresh men, and that definitely helps for sure. General, the Union is severely weakened, and now we can counterattack with our fresh reinforcements that will arrive shortly. And then oh, I guess there's more. Concentrate the attack on their right flank and drive them right back to Washington. Okay, those guys are moving out. Still need to watch out over here on the line. Uh, looks like something frisky is happening. Are you guys shooting those guys? Because that would be that'd be really important. All right, so there's there's some cab shenanigans going on over here. Okay, speaking of cab shenanigans, I think I want to. No, 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 Shoot. 
Okay. That, uh, I'm a little bit worried about that. Okay, let's make sure nothing's going on over here before I commit myself to something stupid. And that is a multi-charge over here. Charge. That's perfect. If we can crush all of these guys... Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Oh man, that was huge. Okay, I hear... I hear other charging though. Okay, yeah, that unit's wavering. They're routing. They have Cavan coming now. That's fine. Move all of you over here. No, I thought I told you to move back. Shoot. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. That was huge. That was absolutely huge. <laughs> Alright, you guys just rejoin Kemper. And then have you guys move up over here. Gordon, you're not needed. Oh, somebody was killed. Over there. Okay. Um, I mean, it's not fine, but it's fine. Okay, charging and charging. That should completely route them. And then that brings Kemper over here, and then we'll put Preston over here. Perfect. Okay, get those guys out of here. Move you guys up over here. Um, you guys are probably too small. That was big. Cleaning that up was huge. Okay, let's get you two out of here. Move over there. Okay. You guys. Can you, actually, can you guys move up like, uh, I'm not my favorite. Okay, that's fine. You'll get into position. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Get out. Okay. Um, actually, just move this artillery down over here. No longer needed over there. And bring that supply down here. Bring this supply back down here. Siegfried is killed? Man. Kicking me in the nuts. Ugh. I mean, that's Civil War for you. Hey, uh, the game... Well, not the game, but, uh, you know, officers die in the Civil War. That's just how it goes. Okay, I like this. Um, can you guys... Maybe move, like, there? Actually, you're fine there. Let's grab you guys, move you up here. Can you guys move out over here? And then keep moving up. And then Kemper, move up. Let's grab all of this cab over here, Quicksilver. Perfect. Freeing up that flink was big. Can we move you guys over here? And then... I would really like to put you guys here and get you guys like over here and move you guys up over here too. That's perfect. Okay. Now you guys can move a little bit better over there and then this artillery could sit basically where he is, and then you move up over here. You guys, Kemper, move up. Kemper's been absolute boss. Oh, there's cavalry up there. Okay. That's interesting. I guess we, we knew there was some cav. Can we, can we chase that cav down? I'm a little worried about how much micro that'll take away from us. But, I, I would really like to, to take out that, because then that frees up our flank. 
you guys need to move forward a little bit more. Actually, can you guys shift over? And can you move up just a tad? Where'd that cab go? I don't want to spread out too far in case we come across it and there... There it is. Okay. So, can you guys move in? And then you guys charge, and you guys charge, and you guys charge. And that should absolutely crush them, right? Wavering. Surrender would be great. I know this is taking away from the rest of the battle. Perfect. Okay. That's what I wanted. Move down. This is great over here. Can I don't know, like, Hampton's Legion has terrible range, it feels like. Okay, let's uh, regroup with you. And then I would like to move you guys up over here. Move you guys behind. That'd be great. Okay, let's do what Pandacrop said. Just hit the move button. That seems to have worked, sort of. And then move you guys behind. Move you guys up. I think we're in grape shot range, though. Canister range. I like to call it grape shot. That's a technically one of the terminologies for it. Oh man, what are you guys... Hole's not big enough for you? I would like... Okay. You guys... That'll work. It's not, it's not my favorite, but that'll work. We are taking some nasty, nasty artillery fire there. Okay, can you guys move in? And then can you guys move up? Okay, there we go. Hit them. They should just melt, right? If they don't melt, I'm gonna be really pissed off. They're a one-star unit, come on. You're getting hit by all of that artillery and you routed my unit? Man, it is just ridiculous how powerful the enemy charge charging is. It is really crazy. Okay. Need you to plug in the gap over there. Need you guys to come around this way. You need to come around this way. You need to move up. You need to come around over here. General Norman Rowe. I don't know who you are. You guys are in the water. Get out of the water. Okay, you guys move up over here. You guys are probably useless now. Okay, they are... How are we going to do this? And then you guys come around this way. You guys route out of here. Another unit routed? Interesting. Okay. It's because of their artillery, isn't it? We need that artillery gone. Okay. Perfect. And more guys getting wounded. Rough. Absolutely rough. We can move up over here. Uh, can you guys capture that, please? That would be a great capture. Did What on earth? Why did you guys shift over? How obnoxious. Okay, somebody else is charging. Or thought they were. Thought I heard that noise. Lots of guys routing. Okay. Need you guys to stay in the game, please. Can you guys all target that artillery? They're routing. Okay, they're... I don't know what on earth they are doing, but we'll take it. 
like you guys need to move like up over here. You guys move into that position. Get these guns up, Burgard, move up. Um, this supply wagon needs to move up. Bonham, move up. Somebody's charging over there. Hit them with everything you have. They're wavering steady, wavering. If they cause me to waver, I'm going to be so angry. Okay, they're routing. Perfect. Order surrendered. Perfect. Not only did they not cause me to be wavered, they surrendered themselves. That is what I want. Alright, time to... Time to press the advantage, I think. There's so much artillery left. Okay, I need this artillery moving forward. I need you guys also pushing up. I need all of you to push up. Okay, nope, we want to capture as much as possible. That is the plan. Okay, they're wavering. I need you guys to push forward. Can you two hit that artillery? Can can you guys hit that artillery better? Keep moving up. I need you guys to move up now. Okay, you guys get out of there. Okay, one, shoot that. Everybody, change targets, shoot that. They're routing perfect. Okay, we have we have flank fire, we have rear fire, we have everything that you can ever imagine. Okay, can we as too many large large brigades over there? How's this going? They're routing. Perfect. Keep pushing forward. And then you guys push up to there. Wanton disregard for life is what's happening. If those guys route into our cab, that'll be amazing. I don't know if it'll exactly happen how I want it to happen. Get out of the water. Okay. I need you two move up over here. I need you guys up over here. We're taking a lot of casualties. Uh, a lot of this is not mine. Mostly over here is mine. So really, I'm okay with it, except for the, the, um, the cavalry. Okay, move, move up. They're flanked. Okay, good. Move over here. Move over here. And then we need... I just realized our officers are, like, not not in the battle. So we need our officers to actually do something. And then you guys, come on. Move up. guys to get into the fight. You guys move forward. And can we... I don't know if we can get a good cab charge off. I think we can. I'm not entirely sure. Like, I would love to hit that really fast cause them to route. That's got them like all in a weird tiff. If we can... Okay, get out of there. Get out of there. We took too many casualties, but that's fine. We've really ruined... really ruined what they were doing. Okay, bunch of guys surrendered. 
Oh, they they surrendered back. Aw oh, man. Weak. Okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. Okay, I don't want Siegfried to be the one over there. Can you guys move up? You move up. We need Jackson way over here. Johnston over here. We need artillery. Look at how many cannon shots are over there. That's crazy. Okay, hit those guys. Uh, Sherman surrendered. Okay, cool. Get him out of there. They're, they're routing, even though they're still firing. Just get them. They surrendered. Cool. Perfect. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Howard surrendered. Who's Howard? I don't know who Howard is. Okay. Can you guys charge into them? I don't know if that's a good idea. But it seems to work for the AI. Okay, can you guys hit them? They surrendered. Perfect. Rear flank. Okay, keep moving up. Keep moving up. If we can capture, like, all of them, that would be perfect. Alright, mass, mass charging. Lots of units wavering on their end. That should be, like, everybody surrendering, right? Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Okay, did everybody surrender? Wow, that was so good. You guys don't understand how frustrating this battle has been for me. Oh, that is that is so much better. And I feel like our casualties are reasonable. Um, that is a lot of captures. We did really well at the end there. Really well. Lots of captures. Let's look at kills. I saw a 2152. Siegfried. Kemper. Archer. Preston, those are our our guys. I mean, they lost a bunch of men. Well, I mean, that's reasonable. Like, 4 to 1 kill ratio for our guys. And then this is like 7 to 1, nearly 5 to 1 as 4 to 1. We'll call it 4 to 1. Amazing. And then our Cav did amazing. And then Pettit also did amazing. I mean, they took tons of casualties too. But I feel like they did such a good job in this battle. Hampton's Legion. Really good. We should name a unit Hampton's Legion. I don't know the history behind Hampton's Legion. Uh, I think is it is it Corey. Corey is really good at telling me the history about things. Corey, if you're watching, I would love a comment from you if you know like why it's called Hampton's Legion. Um, it's, you know, not... I guess the, the, the Confederates did use a legion loosely early on in the war, um, but... That it would be cool to know if there's anything special about this unit. But I, I think maybe we'll name a unit Hampton's Legion because I think that's a really cool, cool name. Kind of like the Orphan Brigade. And um, yeah, there's there's a couple others. Obviously, like Louisiana Tigers, Stonewall Brigade, things like that. Those would be cool. So pretty good. Um, it's James Allen. I don't know. Was James Allen one of ours? Siegfried died. Oh, man. That sucks. Lewis Owen wounded. Norman Rowett wounded. I don't think Norman was one of ours, but Lewis Owen, I believe, was. And then let's see. <sighs> that is a disappointing amount of loot for how many men we captured. So that's what. Um, we'll round that up to like 1900, 2000. We'll call that 2900, 33. 35, and we'll go like, what, 30, 37, close to 3,800 weapons captured, and then, I guess that's okay. Once I count it up, that's better. That's, that's more than 10%, which is what I'm used to, and the 10% always feels bad. That's, that feels like a little bit better, and then our rescued... Uh, rescued a lot of Springfield 1842s. Not that they're good, but we'll take anything as the Confederates, basically. Who had the... Wow, they had some good guns on their men. Well, just their 
skirmishers, I guess. That's, uh, ooh, rescued 10. I mean, those are terrible, but we captured seven of those. So not too shabby, not too shabby. That's, uh, man, you guys don't know how many times I tried this battle. Uh, I'm not going to lie. On um, this JNP mod, I am save scumming. I am restarting battles. You, you can't, <laughs> you can't play this game uh without doing that you will absolutely get crushed and lose and like that's uh, yeah it, this mod is testing me as a general and i'm playing on mg light i'm not even playing on a good difficulty and i have chain charges turned off like i'm not even playing to this mod's full potential and i'm getting my ass handed to me um so cool T uh thomas jackson that's awesome plus one core 8,683 prisoners exchanged for 2,281 additional recruits. That's awesome. Two career points, 12 reputation. So that is that. So how are we looking over here? Um, So Archer is now led by Mark Marshall. Kemper, who's Siegfried led by? Well, he's a colonel, so that's, you know, there's at least that. And then Preston leveled up, Owen, oh, Archer leveled up too, Pettit leveled up. So everybody's one star, so that's fantastic. How many veterans do we have? 294, we have 691 wounded. Um, as far as I understand, the badly wounded pool is, like, they get removed after every major battle, and then there's something like so many percent of your wounded guys go into the veteran pool. And then after every, like, minor battle, so many badly wounded go into every wounded pool. Um, if I'm completely wrong on that, Panda Kraut, let me know. You've been awesome at uh, responding to my comments. I hope I wasn't too negative in this video either. Um, I, I've i spent, like, seven hours on this battle. I am just... Th this mod is kicking my butt. I think, I think it's the perfect amount of difficulty for me, how I have the settings. I don't see myself turning chain chain charges back on um i fully understand that that is like part of the the quote unquote fun of playing this mod but i yeah we'll just leave it at that so but i, I think this is a good stopping point well this is the stopping point of the episode so please like comment subscribe all of that youtube jazz i greatly appreciate all the comments you leave um i will be renaming units after this battle so if you have any ideas for names on units I, I greatly appreciate it i'm thinking like we'll definitely do a hampton's legion louisiana tigers i think we get the stonewall brigade later on in the campaign so we probably won't name one of that um absolutely would love some advice on some southern themed names otherwise i'll just start doing it myself and you guys get left out of all of the fun um yeah so that is it for today's episode as always guys until next time.